Prescott Van Meyer III solemnly aimed from home in today's episode, we review Schlitz High Gravity, also known as The Bull. So it seems we are back into the world of malt liquors. This comes in at 8.5% alcohol, which lets you know that unlike regular Schlitz beer, which comes in 4.5%, 5%, this is 8.5%, lots of gravity to it. So we would expect to have a much sweeter and thicker mouthfeel. I'm gonna mess with the bull. Hopefully I don't get the horns. But based on my previous experience with malt liquors, I'm sure I will. Ah, this is brewed in Milwaukee. Ah, Milwaukee, that bastion of alcohol, that smattering of boozy breweries everywhere. Can't throw a rock without hitting a brewery or a strip club. All nude. Yeah. So this is labeled as a malt liquor. For most people who drink this, I'm sure claiming it to be high gravity is a little too technical. They don't need to worry about the science. They just want to get shit faced. Do they call it Schlitz faced? They should call it Schlitz faced. Comment below if you've ever been Schlitz faced. Hashtag Schlitz faced. Schlitz faced. Schlitz faced. Say that three times fast. Schlitz faced. Schlitz faced. Schlitz faced. Schlitz faced. What? My tick is coming back. <laughs> okay, so the bowl. Let's open it up so I can smell the malt liquor. Mm. I feel like I just got trampled by a drunk bull. Very, very thick. Smelling the thickness. High gravity thickness. It's getting a sense of a warehouse. I don't know why. I'm just getting a sense of a warehouse. I'm walking around. There's nobody on site, no foreman, there's no workers. I think that's a stack of bologna right there. Crates and crates and crates of bologna everywhere. Why am I in a bologna warehouse? Is this a front? Is this a laundering warehouse? Rounding the corner. Oh, there's some college kids just passed out. Hey, it's Pizza Mike. Pizza Mike, did you get a job here? Oh, you're just visiting. Yeah, and just yeasty. It's very yeasty. Well, I guess I should taste it. I'm gonna taste it. I was having a good day up until now. Found an old packet of Twizzlers. Won $15 off a of scratch off and it was good. Used the proceeds to buy this and I still had some left over so I could buy some toilet paper. Now I'll taste it. It's fun. I'm, I'm gonna taste it now. Been doing this a year and I just thought, never mind. <clears throat> I feel like I've stepped in an enormous pile of bullshit and it's big enough that my heel sunk through, like it sunk through like eight or nine inches till my heel touched the ground and my ankle surrounded by this bull's manure. Bulls have pretty big piles of manure. Let's give it another taste. Luckily, not a lot of flavor, to be honest. It is thick, as I expected. Little smoothness on the flavor profile. It's just very low quality. You'd think it'd be hard to switch bread, and it is. You know, when you castrate a bull, it becomes a steer. And that's what this tastes like. A bull with no balls. Tastes like smashing glass bottles on the brick wall behind an alley. Tastes like being mugged, but you have one of these in you, so you can take the mugger down easy. You take his dollar and you don't feel any of the stab wounds. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of a mild flavor. I feel like I'm not getting the full profile. Maybe I should just uh, slam it back. Oh. I am schlitz faced. Maybe that's why they call it high gravity. Cause I feel like gravity is like really high right now. And it's all over. It's like, it's like pulling me down and from side to side. I'm just kidding, I'm not that drunk. Feeling this gravity on my feet and my pee. Who would be drinking this? Who would be drinking this? Curtis, Dave, Steve. Ben, all kinds of Bens would be drinking this. <laughs> Anybody running with the bulls or who ran with the bulls and are very sore or the idiot who jumped in front of the bulls and somebody had to save them. Nobody's a winner. 
There's always that one guy, Chad, my idiot brother, Chad. He ran with the bulls, of course he did. He had three people acting as human shields for him. One of them, rest in peace. You think Chad cared? No, he went and he got himself a swordfish dinner. A swordfish dinner with couscous. And he was pissed that he didn't get it on video. That's Chad. I feel like we're drifting, but I have some other things I want to get off my chest. Abby, I wish you all the happiness in the world with all the men in your life. All the men. So many, but they can't add up to me. And PV3 Nation likes, they like me. They're my best friends and some of them I've even loved. Shameless fangirl, weird spittoon guy. The guy who says he's been there since the beginning, I don't know your name, but you're great. Even that married guy who sends me all those flirtatious DMs. Hey, appreciate you. Maybe one of these episodes will just read my DMs. So get in the DMs, everybody. Send me some weird ones. So the future episode, I'm gonna make you famous. I gotta rate this. Uh, before I drank all of it, I was gonna give it a pretty low score. I was gonna give it like a, like a 12. But after drinking it, I'm gonna give it a higher score. I'm gonna give it a 17. Because it took me places. Hashtag Schlitz faced. But also like and subscribe and comment.